Do you know how lucky we are to be alive right here, right now, where we are able to choose our own path and how we will walk it, even if the destination for all of us is ultimately the same. But we do get to decide what we will do with our lives while we are here, what our life will mean and what we will leave behind. We do not get to choose our circumstances. We do not get to choose the world that we are born into. But it is up to us alone to decide how we will deal with it. We have the free will to choose the meaning we will impart to our brief journey through this world. To choose our allies and our adversaries and the principles we will base our life on or not. History abounds with clear examples of both the greatest good and the most inhuman evil. And each of us will decide through action or inaction which side we will be on and how God and history will judge us. And in the end, it does not matter whether or not you believe in God or the devil, or whether or not they even exist. Because good and evil do exist, and the right way to live is the same either way. Those who allow themselves to be enslaved by evil, either willingly or through passive submission, will be devoured by it. That is always their inevitable end. But those guided by love, mercy, kindness, and compassion, the virtues extolled by all great religions, the virtues that truly make us human, can only be pleasing in the eyes of God by whatever name he may be called. But even if there is no God, if our lives are of no more significance than an ant or a rock, even if there is nothing before or after this brief sentient experience, even if life is devoid of any higher meaning, nothing more than what we experience while we are here, then what greater goal in life can there be than to make it as good as possible for all of us and for those who come after? If this is all there is, let's make it the best we can for ourselves and all who share our fate together while we are alive today. So either way, God or no God, judgment or no judgment, the right way for us all to live is still the same, to make the world a better place for all of us, for every single one of us here. When you were young, seven, eight, nine years old, what did you dream you would become? Whatever it was, didn't it involve more than money or fame? Didn't it include challenge, heroism, some kind of altruistic meaning? Every life has the opportunity to be beautiful, heroic, meaningful. There is a true joy that can only be known by being heroic, by sacrifice, by helping others with no thought of reward. And even someone who has nothing can do it. It is not your circumstances in life that define who you are. It is how you deal with them that determines what your life really means. This is your opportunity, your one chance for you yourself to define who you are, what this life will mean, and to prove it, not by words and pretense, but by your actions. Times are tough these days, and they are bound to get tougher. But whatever happens, 
Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. We are all going to die. Accept that. There is no justice but the justice we make with our own hands, with our own hearts and our own minds. Accept that. Fear is the mind destroyer, the soul crusher. All of your enemies want you to be afraid. So do not be afraid. Don't give them that. It is impossible to be happy when you are afraid. All of your friends and all of those who love you, even those you do not know, want you to be fearless because they want you to be happy. Even if you face the gallows in the morning, be fearless and you have won. Your life is your own legend to write and to live. It is your one chance to truly be a hero. Take it. What more could you ask for than that? It is the example that you will leave for all who come after, even if they never knew you or even heard of you. Everything we do in this life reverberates around the world and out into the universe forever. Never give up. Never sell out. Never surrender your honor and humanity. Do not be afraid. Live your life like a legend. Live your life like a hero. Even if you are the only one who sees or knows it, that is enough. Everything we do in this life, every single thing makes a difference for good or for evil. It is all that we leave behind and it is all that we can take with us. In the end, we are what we do. Davai.